So I'm going to ask the first question and let's jump in and talk about diversity and talent development and open source, which is such an important um, source of where so much innovation comes from. How is Harmon um, developing new talent and is open source or I know there, there are um, coding classes and things like that. What's your approach to that? Well, it's a multi, multi prong approach. We are very much partnering with institutions, universities, schools in Michigan and wherever our main R&D and engineering centers are here in the United States and outside, in Europe, in Asia, in South America. Most importantly, we are really pushing very hard to promote women in high engineering positions and high management positions. My chief financial officer is a woman. Our head of corporate affairs and policy making is a woman. Our head of Harman University is a woman. Our global head of compensation is a woman. And they are just coming up. We just promoted global head of engineering uh, here in Michigan for a model is a woman. So the point is not just the woman or man. I think we need diversity. We need color, gender diversity. And in the, in the end, it's the best talent. I think the whole notion of that only man can do it because automotive industry and engineering driven is absolutely false and flawed. We have 900 million cars on the road. Every year we add 90 to 100 million cars, new cars on the road. Those cars which are in the production today, they're not totally smart, and totally intelligent with everything we talked about. So the next three to five, seven years, we'll continue to have cars which have level one competence, level two, maybe level three in five, seven years. So you have a combination of human driven cars where you and I need to drive these, then they are very smart cars, some Tesla models, some GM, Ford, and Daimler, and others coming in. So in a controlled lane environment, you can do that. But think of Boston, think of New York, think of Taipei, or Bangkok, or forget about Delhi and Mumbai, or Shanghai. So that's a whole new experience. So for that, it's a revolution will come 10, 15 years by the time infrastructure has to be ready. The clouds, the building, the network, the data centers, robust network, the cyber security, the technology which can update the cars just like our phone in a secure manner without upsetting. We have to avoid cyber attack. Right now we do not want these cars to be connected because the infrastructure is not ready. I don't even want to talk about it. It's a very scary situation you can create right away. So a lot of building blocks have to happen. That's called evolution. And evolution will happen when these things start to come and get to it. 